Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another City Zoo episode. And I'm sorry, I am a little bit late. As some of you may know, if you are in my Discord server, I recently started a study just for myself, social media management. And um, it's very interesting, but it's, it seems to be sometimes a little bit harder than I thought. So there's just going a lot of time into that, but uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. It's just something I do from home and it's not something spectacular long or anything, but it just takes some time and I want to do it right. So I'm very sorry for that, that I'm a little bit late, but hopefully you guys understand. But we are here right now with the next episode of our city zoo and we are building the indoor gorilla habitat and it was quite struggling as you may know from the previous episode we are using the Rotterdam Zoo Riviera Hall as inspiration for this. So it's not a recreation. I sometimes get comments of people also to previous episodes like, but it doesn't look that way or something is wrong, but it's not a recreation. I'm using it as inspiration and definitely give it my own twist because some things are just not really possible to really implement. And especially the floor plan is something we still don't have, unfortunately. And it's just really challenging to see how the floor plan really works but i'm doing my best with some pictures to really get some really interesting recognizable ideas from the real building but as i said i also just want to give it my own twist and it's just a lot of fun i'm learning a lot just doing these recreations or now i'm saying recreations to use that as inspiration i should say but i'm learning a lot from it because it's so different from what you're used to like normally you tend to use more square buildings but like the building we did before this, the Predator building from Rotterdam Zoo, and now the Riviera Hall, it's, it's like so many round shapes and stuff. It's super interesting. And also to do like, I redid a little bit of the dome roof, as you may have seen. So it now got like those little details on top of it and some lights and stuff. And it's just, it works so well. And it's so much fun to play around with that and to learn from that how to, you can do more detailing and stuff but the building is really challenging especially like the two wings you have so this is the first wing on the left side and just to see and use that as inspiration for the shape it's really struggling i will show you guys around a little bit in the in the end of the video of course to show you how you sometimes have to like be really creative to close down areas and stuff because well we still have like a limited way of how you can build things in planet zoo so yeah it's super challenging but a lot of fun i really am enjoying this but it takes just a lot of time so what you would notice if you know the building there are like three different glassy domes above the indoor enclosure of the gorillas but i made more of them i think there are five of them and that's probably because well just for me it just felt more right to add a few more because the space is quite big i think it's way bigger than it should be in real life and obviously they will get like a big outdoor area too but for now it just took me so long so i decided to separate it in different episodes i just first want to do everything in the inside so after this we're going to do the pygmy hippo and the rhino which are all going to be in this wing and then probably i will just dedicate one complete episode to all the outdoor stuff because i think the outdoor stuff is way easier to do so instead of like doing indoor stuff with a lot of small little details and stuff so yeah i think we're going to just start with the indoor enclosures of the pygmy hippo and the rhino after this and then we're just gonna do one episode with all the outside areas, which is still going to be challenging, but I don't think it's gonna take me that much time to do that. And especially this area with the gorilla habitat, 
and the indoor area is is the most work. I'm pretty sure that the rhino and the pygmy hippo will be less work because I already did a lot of this stuff that I can use also for those areas. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. But like what you're seeing right now with like using so many round shapes, like you have the outside round shape, but you also have a half round area with those glassy windows where the people can look actually to the gorillas. That is like super challenging to really play around with the rotation part in Planet Zoo. But then again, you also have to delete a lot of stuff again. So yeah, that was like, I think the most work that went into this particular area. But the end result is so much worth it. I'm so proud of how this is looking. I still have to do a little bit of like detailing. I always struggle a little bit with like where I'm gonna put my educational signs and stuff. And they have something really interesting in the real life building. But I'm still debating on how I want to do that and how I want to use that to get like focus points for the guests to really look at and to get information about the gorilla. So that is something I'm still going to work on. And I have some space for that. I will show you guys that around at the end of this video too. So what was quite challenging, I will show you guys, I will link a video of the original zoo and the indoor enclosure. I don't know if it's like the state it is in now or that day modernized it so I'm, I'm just using that video as inspiration for like the climbing frames and stuff for the gorillas which is just a funny video about that gorillas are making nests and stuff from the hay which is super cool but they have like those raised areas where the gorillas can jump on and can sleep on and they put the hay in there to make nests and to sleep on it's super cute and I try to use that as inspiration and I use the plastic masterpieces for that and obviously I didn't have any gorillas when I started doing that so I was like with the first area almost finished and I was like okay let me just add a doorway and then I could add some gorillas into the enclosure but the gorillas are just not able to they are able to walk on the plaster pieces I use on the floorings but as soon as you raise it even though you connect it with some climbing frames they're just not able to get onto that and I was so confused about about it. So I contact Frontier about it, like, is it possible to send me your ma my map? Because I am just confused why they are not able to get on that. Is it like too thin or maybe the width isn't right? And I really tried to play around with that to make it a little bit wider and stuff, but they just didn't use it. So yeah, in the end, Today I did the final touches and I replaced some of those platforms with just the climbing frames and then they're just fine with using that. So I'm really hoping that Frontier can get back to me and just tell me what that is or maybe they just need to make some changes like the, the information about around those plaster pieces so they will be able to use it. I have no idea. Something else which is really funny, I really used a green color. I, I'm not really sure if it's really green. I think it is green, but the video is probably some kind of night shot camera, if I am correct. But I really like to use that green color and they actually have some kind of green drawing on all the walls. So it all looks like, I don't know, just super natural in a way, a little bit retro even. So I really like that, but uh, that I wanted to do something with that. And then I realized that the plaster pieces don't really have round shapes, which is kind of a pity because having round shapes in that same material would be so awesome to create a little bit of like a wall drawing out of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking that maybe I will use the art pieces from that for that. But yeah, we have to wait and see. I'm not really sure yet, but I will definitely get back to the climbing frames. There's still two smaller areas that don't have that many climbing frames, but I just really want to wait for the feedback of Frontier to see. Maybe they will change something with like a small update and then it's all good. Or maybe I just really have to replace all those plaster pieces with the climbing frames frames which would be a pity so I really hope not. I kind of want to wait for their response before I continue those indoor sections but one section is kind of finished except for like the wall drawings as I just mentioned. So yeah I just really hope they can get back to me in a very short notice and else we just continue with our pygmy hippo and the rhino, ha rhino habitat 
and it's all gonna be fine obviously i don't have any brush and i don't think anyone has at this point but yeah i'm just really happy to see the gorilla snail added into our zoo it was quite funny when i unpaused the game and so many people came down there to watch to look at the gorillas oh my goodness like my fps dropped so hard because it was so busy but after a few minutes it was already getting better so it was just quite funny to see that and also we do have some lion babies now and some hyena babies so that's really exciting i will show you guys a little bit around uh, in those habitats too at the end of this video so yeah just enjoy the rest of this speed build i really hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in the end of the video to show you guys around
it's always super fun to show you guys around in real time. So I really hope you guys will like it. This hallway is not really detailed just yet. Uh, we do have a little bit more of an entrance point right over here. So we come into the left wing and this is the indoor area for the gorillas. As you can see, as I mentioned, these two are still unfinished because I want to wait for Frontier's response on the climbing frames. But look at that. Isn't that cool? I love this and especially like the roofing I really use that from the real life building and especially also here if you have been there you know exactly what this is and using those planks really give a nice little touch of detailing to it so I really like that and also these glass entrances is basically ripped off even though it's a different color because I was like ah, oh, just use a brown color instead of the white color uh, but it looks really cool. I'm really happy with how this is looking. So on the left side, I want to do something with educational signs and stuff with the gorilla signs. Uh, so that is still something I need to work on. But the guests can just see the gorillas from all these sides here, which is just really cool. And I wanted to use some color variation with some green. There is something similar like this over there, but I didn't have a good picture of it. So this is more of my own imagination. And the roofing, I love this roofing. And I don't really know how it will look at night. I'm like, I didn't do anything else with lights. Uh, it doesn't really... Oh, wow, well, that looks pretty cool. That's pretty decent, but we definitely need some more lighting. So let's just... Get back, ooh, bloom, uh, hurts my eyes. Okay, so uh, yeah, we have those climbing frames and those plaster pieces, as I mentioned, uh, but they just don't use it, so that's really a pity. And I try to use these things to, yeah, get like the idea of tires, even though they are not able to use it. I also use that one, which is basically not for the gorilla, but I saw something similar in a picture. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to put that in there, even though they're not able to use it. I think I'm going to change the light in just a little bit so you can look inside a little bit more. Uh, and obviously those gates, there are two different areas where they would be able to go outside. Everything is connected so they can walk from one side to the other side. And this one too, the door will be removed in the later stage. If we have like an outdoor area, I will make a small separate building for the staff and the, and the doorway. So this is all temporarily. And obviously we're going to do some more detailing with the gates. This is just to give the idea that there are two areas that they are able to go outside, which is actually pretty cool. So as you can see right over here, I use some of the normal climbing frames, which they are able to use. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wait and see how I want to redo it and also try to see if I can do some kind of drawing on the walls for chains to see how that is going to look. But overall, like this particular area, I'm super proud of. It looks so cool. I really, it was really a struggle. As you can see, there's like this inner circle right over here for these glass pieces. And you still have like the outer circle right over here of the building itself. And this is all going around like this. And then from the outside, I can show you from the outside a little bit too. Go back through the museum. And uh, there's going to be a lot of green uh, in front of this, but then you can see how the shape is looking from the outside. And you have like those five little domes over here and all the way there will be like this hallway wing with like an area for the pygmy hippo and for the rhino an indoor area it might be a little bit longer i haven't figured out yet how long it should be so that is something we're going to change along the way and uh, we have some glass roofs right over here to get some more sunlight in. And this will be covered with the plaster pieces too in a later stage just to get like the same roofing color everywhere. And obviously I'm going to download some things in the workshop. There are like some roof um, air conditioners and, and like, I don't know, some kind of machines and stuff which you could see on the roofing. So I'm definitely going to see 
if we can download some of these things because I'm not really good at those small little details. So why not use them from the workshop, right? From other people that made it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is coming along. It's a lot of work, so yeah, progress is going slow. But I'm really curious to hear what you guys think of this. My interiors are getting better, if I may say so myself. Like, it, it's, it's the most hardest thing for me to do, the interiors, but... I really enjoy it, and uh, thanks to my cheats, I'm really getting pushed to do better and, and to try more and gives me a lot of inspiration. If you haven't seen Koali Zoo, by the way, talking about Mike Sheets, I just posted my episode this Saturday, so if you haven't seen it yet, we're building a giant panda habitat and there will be a rat panda added to it too. And obviously it's now Mike's turn and he couldn't handle himself, so he did some really cool changes already in the interiors which i asked him like if you have any ideas please go ahead and and do something and it's it's uh, i'm super excited to see more but he showed me one screenshot and i was like oh my goodness that is incredible so definitely go and check out koali zoo if you haven't seen it yet and let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this indoor area for the gorilla still a work in progress but definitely something i am already very proud of and look forward to see what you guys think leave a like in the video if you guys enjoy and subscribe of course if you haven't already and i just really hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys